entendu We're going to be careful with each other. This is going to be for uh, green and fire. The person who's going to grab us will sing a polygraph like this right away. Hard and strong. Whoosh. This. Carefully, for Kime's sake, for safety's sake, we're going to come with a Mawashi Seeker straight away. Again, notice the position of the hips and legs. It's not a punch face. <coughs> So, right off the jump, we're going to go slow with that. Because he grabs me, pulls me in, whatever, I'm going to come over the top and hit him with a Mawashi Sike or a Kagetsuki, a kind of hook or a tight round punch. As I follow through, empty down to break the balance, Tetsui to the throat, Shote to the chin, Sotototoshi, Tetsui. Maybe we'll break that in a few pieces, please. <laughs> <laughs> Get excited. Right, let's do this part first. <laughs> oh. Let's just do that. So we can kind of think of the ghost of front choke there. But we're striking, breaking posture, tetsu. Whoosh, the side's loaded up for what will come next. Got it? Questions from green, higher? Orange, purple, we're gonna go back to the front choke. We're going to escape as we usually do, but in this case, we're going to come tetsui to the jaw. So we're going to change what we typically do, knife edge between this space between shoulder and jaw, meaning it's really, really tight. Boom. And we're going to go tetsui to the jaw. And we'll stop there for now. We'll add more in a moment. And actually, this one's nice. If he's really crouched, could be temple, could be ear. So if there's a lot of movement and you're not quite sure, you know, shoot those a bit more precision. Okay? Just like a, like a knife versus a hammer. So here, I'm not sure where it's going to be, but I'm going to hit him hard. Maybe the neck, but maybe the jaw, maybe the temple. Would you strike in the same manner as far as... The type of strike with the shooter, or would you kind of follow through more? Depends. <laughs> Depends, yeah. For now, I'm doing it. Uh, I'm trying to turn him more than I would with a front show. Okay. So I'm here. Oh, with a shooter. <clears throat> so maybe even if you watch my. Because <clears throat> other stuff's going to be coming. Okay. Are we okay with that? Yes. So one more time. Green and higher. To kind of this kind of thing. <clears throat> Turn over. Here. 
So you're going with the flow no matter what. If his arm turns over, he's here. Break it. If his elbow's down, don't, don't fight the issue. If his elbow's down, return, reinforce, like a strike. Take it down. Us. Us. Drop the body through. The elbows down. I'm not trying for anything here. It is where it is. Questions? Others? We already saw what we're going to do, but we'll go through. Actually, let me make one point. The, 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 Actually, maybe you can help. Crescendo, what does that mean? That means it builds up, right? I thought so. Okay. Your strike, in terms of realistic self-defense, will be like a building wave or a crescendo. So he grabs me. The idea is not this. What's he going to do if I do that? Something. He's going to do something. Right? Make sense? Nice. So the idea is, boom, the first one's small. I don't think that's going to be the knockout shot. Thus the reason I'm following up with a bunch of stuff. But the idea is that that first one gives me the chance to create a what? Bigger one. And yet a bigger one. And yet a bigger one. This? This. Same thing when we do basic single collar grabs with short speed. It's not this. Why? They're going to do something. You're telegraphing. Right? He pulls me in. Boom. You're going to eat I go. Don't throw the Same here. I want. Good. Switch. Switch. Pull me in. Who just powered that strike, really? Huh? Keep pull me in. Pull me in. Open this up. Hip across. Okay. Cut the leg, head two. Hey! Oh! Hey! 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 All the way down to the knee for the finish? Uh, I just went down based on where he was. I'm not aiming to do that. Good. Right. Yeah. 